surviving 200 days in Minecraft Hardcore. I already survived 100 days beating all three bosses, getting full Prop 4 Netherite armor, and getting unlimited emeralds. But now, the challenge is to survive 200 days and see just how much I can achieve. If I die once, the challenge is over and the world is deleted forever. As usual, there were a few times where I did nearly die and only just survived. I spent over 30 hours on this video and on my channel I do lots of hardcore Minecraft so if you could take a second to subscribe, that would be amazing. And you can always change your mind later. With all that said, this is the story of how I survived 200 days in hardcore Minecraft. And so here we go again, day 101 on our way to 200. And one of the first things I want to do is get myself a cartographer. And to make that, we're going to go ahead and do that. Place it down for one of these fellas to use. <laughs> you good sir will be my cartographer. If I create a compass and a load of glass panes, I should be able to upgrade this guy to the max level. I don't know if it makes it the max one, but it does give me a woodland explorer map. Look at that golem, offering a puppy, eh? Very, uh, very kind. So in the morning, that is the place that I'm going to a woodland mansion. So according to the map, we've got to go very, very far north, which is over in this direction. But obviously, we're, we're going to fly. It's not going to take me that long. Didn't expect to find this on the way. A desert and a desert temple. Let's check it out. The main thing I want to get from here is some notch apples if possible. We've got regular golden. What's that book? Protection. <laughs> we're past protection two days. Unfortunately, it was pretty useless, but at least the TNT might be handy. I come to the map. We're now in line with the Woodland Mansion. We just have to fly in this direction a little bit longer. And here it is coming into view over 8,000 blocks to get here. I'm trying to find the entrance. All I can say is thank goodness for the elytra. Here we go. So I know that these are pretty dangerous places. I'm going to have to be careful because it's hardcore. It does make the mobs 10 times more powerful. Although these guys, they, they do half a heart. You know what? I, I take it back. You guys, you guys are rubbish. I'm not entirely sure if there's any useful loot here particularly. The gunpowder is the main thing that I want. Also grab the music disc. I should probably start collecting those. Might as well take some bookcases as well. You, you can never have too many books. Let's be honest. There's only one thing I really want from this woodland mansion and that is the Totem of Undying which comes from this guy. Did I just really just kill him in two hits? <laughs> Let's put that there. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that if we head upwards, there'll be more illagers up there. I found the area. I don't know how to get into it, but I found it anyway. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, you took a blast there as well. There he is. The great... Excuse me, you two. I'm trying to make a cinematic moment here. As I was saying, here we go. The big showdown. You think you've... Ex to be honest, I'm actually kind of weak, actually. I should probably be kind of careful. Who am I kidding? I've got a total of undying. You can run, mate. But yeah, wow, he's actually really running for it. <laughs> Look at that, your crocodiles are no use. Tell you what, if you ever want books, this is the place for you. Normally I'd have to scam a lot of villagers to get this mini book, so this is a this is a much nicer way to do it. Just steal it from the villagers. And here we have Totem of Undying number three. And on that note, I think I've got all the totems. I'm getting out of here. I've decided it's just getting too crowded down here with everything. I'm going to open this up for everybody. I finally got an enchantment. I should have got a long time ago. Infin- Okay, I did not mind, mean to buy that many of them, but anyway, it'll do. I've just remembered something. Mending and infinity cannot go on the same bow, so um, <laughs> I have to make a completely new one. This guy is giving me sharpness five. Finally, I can put feather falling on my boots and depth strider three. And finally, a book of thorns too, so I can get loads of these. And now I can use the grindstone and all the things I got from the end city. No. <gasps> What just happened there? Oh my goodness, what a mess that's made. That almost destroyed me as well. <laughs> it couldn't have been a worse place for this creeper to blow up. Anyway, the main thing I can now do is get Thorn 3 on my armor. This place is becoming a bit of a mess. Let's also cure this fella. There's another creeper here, and these golems are just standing doing it. Look, what do I pay you guys for? I brewed some fire resistance and some swiftness, and I decided I'm still living life like a peasant. Look at this, diamond tools. Who has diamond tools in Minecraft? So we're going to the nether, and we're going to get the rest of the netherite. And to start off, I'm going to drink some fire resistance. Then some swiftness. I'm going to see if the pickaxe can keep up with this. And there we go. We managed to find some quite quickly there. There we go. We managed to find another piece. <laughs> okay, it's two pieces as well. That's really good. I, won't put, I just nearly missed this piece, but I just about found it. And it's another two. Perfect. In fact, it's three. I often wonder if a method like this is the most efficient way. Huh? Have some more. <laughs> I've done all this crazy mining over here. And yet it's when I'm doing this little strip mine that I happen to find it. There we go. We managed to find some more as well. Perfect. This is the last piece of ancient debris that I need. And there's two of them. That's really, really good. I'm also going to need magma later on, so I'm going to grab it while I can. Home sweet home. I'd better go ahead and quickly sleep. And now I can begin smelting my netherite. And yes, I'm putting efficiency, unbreaking, and mending on my diamond hoe. And I'm also going to turn it into a netherite one, just because I can afford it. And I now have all netherite tools. <laughs> and I got the thing. Serious dedication. And with this final ingot, I can also make a fortune netherite pickaxe. And on this pickaxe, I can have silk touch. I've just realized I made a netherite right hoe. <laughs> 
but I didn't make a netherite sword, so we, we've still not got full netherite tools. So it's back to mining ancient debris. And there we go, we found so <laughs> I found that so quickly, it was like right by where the other ancient debris was. Let's make another ingot. And now I definitely <laughs> have full netherite tools. I am now ready to begin my next project. I spent many, many days gathering lots and lots of materials. Currently waiting for my iron to finish smelting here as well. There we go, it's now all finished. You're probably wondering what on earth I'll need two stacks of iron for, but <laughs> all will be revealed. To build this farm, we are going to be going to the nether. At this point, you can probably already guess what the farm is going to be, since there's only one type of farm in the nether anyway. Well, there is actually quite a few nether type farms, but this is the most common one. So I'm going to put a ladder right here and then hold jump. And then when I get to the top of my jump, I need to throw an ender pearl like that and then yeah i am above the nether now look at this we've arrived so this right here is the block of bedrock that i want to destroy so i'm going to start by placing a piston and because my coordinates are at negative z on the negative z side of this we're going to place that obsidian on this side tnt over here and we're going to place a trap door like that as well so the plan is i place tnt here go under there and then i keep spamming this as fast as i can okay it didn't work that time it doesn't work every time take two this time I can feel I'm going to pull it off. I'll try and click a bit faster. You need to be clicking so fast. There we go. We got it. I clicked it faster. And now when I mine up this piston, look at that. The bedrock is broken underneath. We've got our way up and down. I feel like I should create a little bit of a pillar so that I can find my way over here easier. And now I need a nether waste biome. We're currently in a crimson forest. So if I head this way, I already know, I've checked before where the nether wastes are. So I know if I go in this direction, I've got the coordinates to the area. This is the perfect spot. So I'm going to build all the way up to max height now and make my zombified piglin farm. And I've made it to build height. Now, do you want to see something scary? I'm going to mine this, hold crouch, and, and hope for the best. Oh, look at that. We landed on the side, no problem. I'm now at Y249. I'm going to place a slab and start building. And I'm not going to bore you with too many details. I'm just going to get on with building it. I've successfully built this shape, and now I need to place 4,000 magma blocks. Yes, you heard me right. 4,000 blocks. Look at that. It's already working. Now that a lot of spawn, this is actually a good chance for me to put down my satellite pigment. I just put this guy in a boat and then work my way over here. I hope getting out the boat. Yeah. Oh, don't push me out. And if I break this, that's it. You stay there. You're not coming. You you live there now. I'm also going to give him a name. <laughs> angry man. And he's going to be the pigment that makes sure all the other pigments stay angry. We've got a bad situation here. A gas has spawned and he is ruining my day. I'm going to have to attack him with some flying skills here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's going to be a problem we're going to encounter. Once I get all these slabs down, my problems of gas spawning will be over. And I also need to put walls in these corners here so that the piglin path fine properly. And at long last, <laughs> I have finished the spawning platforms. I've made the spot where I will stand, and this is the area where the piglins will die. So we're going to put a little trap door there. We'll put a rail on there. And this is the reason that I needed so much iron. Because I then need to place 25 minecarts on this block. And with three iron to spare, this is all the minecarts I need. And this is where things could go wrong. I need to break that, then break the block below it. Ah, no, bro, are you kidding me? So if I now break this block, place that there, they are all in there. And I think it is now done, <laughs> unless I've done something wrong. I suppose there's only one way to find out. I'm going to go over here, punch this guy. All right, they're now all angry. <laughs> Let's get in here and see if it works. It's kind of working, but I think I slightly messed up by not making the piglin hole deep enough. Actually, if I break that block there, this is terrifying. They're climbing the ladders. Now, there's no way. I'm, I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> Look at that. They're all going straight in. It's beautiful. And now I can just sit here and watch the XP flow in. And look at all the loot that I'm getting with this as well. I'm going to have to come up with some sorting system for this. And there we have it. I have now reached level 100. This has to be probably the best XP farm I have ever made. And the reason I chose this one over a guardian or an enderman farm is thanks to all the gold that I can get. I'm floating down this ladder and I'm still going collecting XP. I have to say it's Great to finally be home. That was an absolutely massive project, but it was well worth it. I can now add fire aspect to this sword and some more thorns to my armor. And now I feel like one of the cool things I should do that I haven't done yet is a raid. Now, which village to raid? Do we raid that one or do we raid my hometown? There's the pillager outpost that we found last time. And here is a pillager captain. Excuse me, sir, but I need your services. I'll put this in memory of you and I don't want that crossbow. I think I'm going to be risky and raid my hometown just because I really want to get hero of the village. So here we go. <laughs> the raid is beginning. Now, where are these guys coming from? That's it. Ring the bell. Emergency, guys. This is, a, this is not a drill. Okay, there they are. There's the boys. Let's go in. No messing about. You get out of here. Okay, they did a lot of damage. I should probably put my chest plate on before I uh, before I go any further with this. There we go. Thankfully, I've just upgraded my sword. Wow, those guys are packing a punch here. I've got to be careful. I feel seriously undergeared for this. I didn't get any gapples. I didn't get a bow. And yet, despite that, I'm destroying them. I should definitely get a bow. That would be a good idea. You guys think you stand a chance? Whoa, the golems are actually struggling now. 
Gonna have to go and uh, help them out here. You leave my golems alone. They're attacking. They've made it in. How did you guys even get in here? Leave my villagers alone, you. And there we go. Wave number two has been dealt with. Excuse me, sir. This is an emergency. I need arrows. You don't sell them. We've no time to discuss specifics, but I'm very undergeared. Here's the rest of the wave. They don't see many of them, though. And he's dropped a crossbow for me. That's going to be kind of useful. Don't mind me, I'm just going to sleep mid-raid. I've got a few moments before the next wave starts. Let me quickly grab this bow and get back to the action. Yeah, the big boy Ravagers are here now. You guys, back off. Okay, I need to get my chest plate on ASAP. There we go, no problem. You get out of here. Despite this being a power 5 bow, it's not doing that much damage. But it's getting the job done. Look, they can't even see me through the sugar cane. Okay, maybe you can. That's it, I'm going in with this all-powerful sword. There is a couple of them over there. They're doing all sorts to my poor golem. I'll sort you out. That's it. Get out of here. These guys just do not stop. Why is a wandering trader randomly turned up at this time? Got any good deals? No, you're completely useless. As usual, I'm struggling to locate the enemy. It's over here. Look at that. That was a right team move. Get rid of these two. Perfect. And we did it. We defeated the raid. We are now here. The Look at the fireworks going off. It's brilliant. I didn't know the villagers did that. Look, they're all coming outside again. This has been a great day. You got some sweet deals for me now. Look at that. The prices have been slashed. We've got another four totems of undying. Life is good, ladies and gentlemen. Life is very good. Blimey, I missed a totem lying on the ground. Look at these guys. They just gave me some free stuff. Look at him. He's throwing everything at me. They love me. If only they knew how much I'd actually scammed them. And I have the final book that I wanted, Flame. And I'm heading back to the XP farm, where I then plan to fully max out my armor. Seems like you guys have forgotten how angry you used to be at me. Maybe this will jog your memory. I just remembered I completely forgot to bring an anvil. Okay, I'll be right back when I've got more iron. And I find myself once again mining for iron. The way I see it, the sooner I get an iron golem farm, the better. Let's set all of this off smelting. Craft another anvil. And back we go again. Now I can plunk down the anvil and get to work. What's that? I, I don't have enough levels. Just give me a moment. There we go. Are you kidding me? My, my anvil broke already. So it's take two, going mining for iron. Oh, look at that. We have got ourselves an enchanted golden apple and some diamonds. That's pretty nice. I have to say, that was a pretty productive time mining. I'm hoping that I never have to go mining ever again. At least not for iron anyway. Maybe for diamonds though. Couldn't work out why my game was so laggy. It turns out there's millions of swords sitting on top of this hopper. I think I'm going to be pretty rich from all this gold. Let's turn this all into gold blocks. Yes, we have 60 blocks of gold. I'm going to craft a couple of anvils. Place that there. Make one of these guys angry and get back to work. Are you kidding me? I can't even put Thorns 3 on. That's so annoying. I'll sort that out later. So I almost... <laughs> have fully maxed armor. And now with my 72 blocks of gold, I'm getting out of here. This will go nicely with my other 32 blocks of gold. We have over 100 blocks of gold now. After 140 days, I've decided it's finally time I made an enchantment table. I did not realize that I am, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit dangerously close to the edge of a mountain here. That does change my plans with the design slightly. Turns out I have another 30 gold blocks in this chest as well. I'm gonna once again grindstone these boots. I know it's pretty basic, but I feel like this will do for now. I will eventually improve it at some point, but let's just enchant these and see if we can get it to max. With them breaking and prop four, yeah, I can definitely max it out now. This time there'll be no trouble enchanting all of this. That gives me mending. This now gives me almost max armor. There's one thing I need to do, and that is to sit and trade with these fellas until I get soul speed three. Oh my goodness, I just almost died to a piglin. I don't know. <laughs> he won't accept the gold. What's wrong with you, man? Just just, just take the gold. Leave me alone. It's a good thing I have plenty of totems lying around. All right, fellas. Christmas has come early. Finally, I got soul speed three. You guys have taken forever with that. Thanks to those piglins, I have a lot of leather. I'm finally going to make this easier to find stuff. Yeah, that's definitely looking much better. I'll fill these up with other things at some point. Now, let's place my boots here. Put the soul speed... You gotta be kidding me. Well, <laughs> back to the grindstone they go. Oh my goodness, I just got it straight away. I was about to say, I, <laughs> I need thorns three. And he literally gave it to me. Oh, I don't even have a book. Do not change your trade. I need that. I was about to say, I'm dedicating way too much time to getting max armor, but I, I need to do this. There we go, thorns three. Before I was combining two thorns, two books, which was just adding it up too much. Yeah, for the feather falling, we'll take that. Deb Strider, thank you. This time, I'm getting the maximum stuff on my boots. And finally, it has... Give me a moment. It has been achieved. I have completely, well and truly maxed out my armor. And now I have only one goal, albeit a very simple one, and that is to get one of the greatest music discs ever, Pig Step. 
And I just realized I, I forgot to get food. Also, in the last video, some people said I went into creative because I managed to get a stack of blaze rods. And I'm going to assume that the people that said that have never used a looting three sword on a blaze corner. Look at how many blaze rods you get from a blaze. Look, I just got three that easy. Another three there. It's too easy, guys. So that's how I got loads. I'm not going to sit here and get more. I've got more important things to do. And yes, don't worry. I do indeed read the comments when you say something. Come on. Give me pig step. No, not today. I might as well take the lodestone, though. Finally, I have searched so many and I have finally found it. Pig step. And whilst I'm here, I might as well steal more gold. And that, to me, is a job well done. I then proceed to spend the next three days sitting and getting loads and loads of XP. All right, now that I've got all these useless levels, I might as well crack on with something else. And yes, these videos take so long to make that I've even trimmed my beard in, in the time. Now, probably one of the most important things on your mind right now is what am I going to name my dog? I spent the last 50 days and he, he's still got no name. So thanks so much for all the ideas you had. I've decided to go with Buddy. There you are, Buddy. <laughs> That's your official name now. Another thing I think would be a good idea to do is to make a compass and then place this lodestone right here. I think if I then right click it, yeah, look at that. In the nether, we will be able to find this portal much easier. And now for my next project, I want to find a trident. So to do that, I'm going to need to find some drowns. These ruins usually have what I look for. There we go. So let's just take out these guys and hopefully get a trident. I don't know how many of these guys you actually have to take out to get what you're looking for, but I get the feeling like it's going to take a while. I also had no idea how fast Depth Strider with Dolphin's Grace is. The Dolphin can't even keep up. I decided it's best to put that idea on the back burner. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so difficult to get a trident. So I'm going to do some experimentation and at some point create a trident farm that's going to let me get millions and millions of them. And I've instead got a new project on the horizon. I'm going to make a bunch of Eyes of Ender, then four End Crystals. Thanks to me Piglin trading, I have plenty of Obsidian. So let's make four Ender Chests. Going to grab lots of wood and lots of wool. I could also do with a bit more gunpowder. Now I have 36 gunpowder. That should be plenty. That's going to give me a load more firework rockets. To be honest, the way I see it, the sooner I get a gunpowder farm, the better. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but my uh, my music disc collection is growing nicely. And now I'm going to fly to my next destination. And then I'm going to go down this little hole here. There we go. I feel like it'd be a good idea to just build a portal here. And then I can just go through the nether to get to the stronghold. Let's board up this. And I can build a nice little portal. I think one of these shulker boxes has Flint and steel. Yes, it does. Yes. I always carry the essentials and then let's see where it takes us. It took me to my original portal, which... <laughs> That's not good. So now in a big waste of time, I've got to fly back to the stronghold. I think it's best I just get on with this. So the first plan is to rebirth the ender dragon. There we go. It's appearing. Whilst that does that, I'm going to craft a bunch of beds. Place some obsidian right here. And now we simply wait for the dragon to perch. Whilst I'm up here, I can actually shoot the towers. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Okay, I've got an enderman after me. But I should be able to finish it. Oh, okay. No, we, we missed we missed it, but we can finish her off. That tower has got to go, and now I can finish the job. And now a new end gateway has been opened. So I plan to use this to find shulker shells. Because over time, I've realized that shulker boxes are so, so useful. Here's my first one of the day. Let's find the shulkers. You also get very good loot from these places. It's a very small end city. I only got two. Let's keep searching. Now this one looks much bigger. The bow is the way to go with these guys, because then you can get them in two hits, which stops them from teleporting away from you. Might as well grab these elytra. And of course, the dragon head which has fallen because my inventory is full. I'll grab this one last shulker shell. That's 18 now I've got. That's more than enough. Grab the dragon head and go home. I've made it back home. I've got plenty of shulker shells. I've got elytra, a few extra dragon heads. Pretty good journey. I think it's finally time I tackled the auto storage for my gold farm. So I could go mining for redstone or I could support the economy and buy it off a villager. Yes, yeah, so he's very happy now. I'm also going to craft a few repeaters, a dropper, and I'm also going to need to mine up a bit of quartz so that I can make a bunch of comparators. And thankfully the pigmen aren't angry at me right now so I can do some work. I've now successfully got rid of a load of the junk from all these chests. Just need to empty these two here. I realised it was just quicker and easier to break these ones as well. So this dropper here is going to be the one that gets rid of all the gold swords. And this is where I'm going to place the comparators with some hoppers going into them. And then finally some double chests at the bottom with hoppers going in to them. There needs to be torches underneath these hoppers and then repeaters going into the torches, blocks along here, and finally a bunch of redstone all up here. Now in theory, this should work. I just need to fill these with the items that I want to sort. Unfortunately, <laughs> Throw me rotten flesh away. I think I'm going to get some. Never mind, it's uh, it's all despawned. Forgot to place this dropper upside down, which is kind of important. And this little contraption should eject things down every time I put a, an item in. There we go. It worked. I'm also going to disable this hopper temporarily until I get enough rotten flesh. And so now we test it out. Guys, I, I made a big mistake here. Okay, I just got to get out of it. That, uh, that was a bit of a... <laughs> I didn't realize they could all just walk on there and come around. Yeah, I was a bit of an idiot in that situation. I'm just going to pop home and get another totem of undying. Let's grab that. No harm done. 
and it's nice to see it snowing for a change. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always carry a totem of undying. So I'm guessing in order for this to work now, I'm going to need a bunch more slabs, and then I need to cover this area up completely. I feel like I've really safety-proofed the area. That should, in theory, mean no more mishaps. And now I'm letting all the items filter through, and they are filling up the chests. There is a slight problem with the machine, so I just need to move this all over one block. Break that hopper there, place a new one there, put that like that. There we go. Now it will work perfectly. Take two. Hopefully I don't have to use another totem. Look at it go. As you can see, the swords are just being thrown out. These chests are being filled up nicely. This is doing my OCD <laughs> the world of good. I then spent another a few days sitting in this farm to get to level 200. Nearly two stacks of gold blocks gained again. I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like something I haven't done yet that would definitely be a good idea is to craft a jukebox and place it down probably in the corner. And now I can listen to Pigstep. If I was playing Minecraft without recording, I would just have that playing in the background. It truly is such a good sound. So for my latest endeavour, I'm going to be going to a desert. And that's because I'm always sick of never having any sand. And my plan is to get my shovel and fill an entire shulker box with sand. After mining up an entire shulker box, I got a little carried away and decided to do an extra chest as well. I've got plenty now. This is the other shulker box full of sand. We've got that. I don't know what I'm going to use all this sand for right now, but... It will come in handy. One of the things that I'd like to build in here is going to be a nether wart farm. I'm going to go ahead and smelt a load of this netherrack. I'm going to place a couple of chests here. Hoppers wrapping all the way around. We're going to add a nice quartz floor. And then all the rest of this can be nether brick. I think glowstone will be a good block to use as lighting. Now all my nether bricks are ready. So let's craft them into blocks and finish building this room. I feel like adding stairs around the edge could be quite a nice effect. And now I'm going to begin planting this nether wart. And to speed things up, I'm going to go to my trusty supply of bone meal, which apparently doesn't work on what I'm sure it used to. Thanks to all that sand that I got before, I can make a bunch of smooth sandstone and finish this part of the building. Add those here. Looking pretty good. Can't really do much more of this room until these nether wart grow. So in the morning, it makes sense to work on something else going to involve all these gold blocks and I'm simply going to fill all of these walls in. In the last video I had unlimited emeralds and this one I've now also got unlimited gold. That looks so rich. So I don't know what I'm going to be getting unlimited of in the next video. These are now starting to be fully grown. I don't know if fortune gives me more. I think it does. So that's definitely going to be something worth remembering. And now it's time we crafted a bunch of dispensers. I'm going to place these along here. I'm going to make a polished blackstone button and put it on there. Actually I need to change this to a redstone lamp. There we go. And then I can feed redstone all the way around here. Put repeat is going into each dispenser and I now need to go and get more redstone. Sorry sir, I, I hate to wake you up but I really need this redstone. And now this should be fully operational. We'll also need to put all of these water buckets in. And whilst I wait for all these to grow, I'm going mining for redstone because I'm getting tired of constantly running out. The good thing about redstone is it's very, very easy to find. With Fortune 3, look, I've already got 30. It's so much better. I'm also going to grab any lapis that I see with my fortune. Wasn't even looking for them but there's a few diamonds lurking down here. That's nine in total. I'm pretty happy with that. I have to say, this has definitely been a nice time. I generally like to store lapis in this chest here. <laughs> in the enchantment room I never use, but looks amazing. And I get the feeling like we're not running out of redstone anytime soon. I think it's about time I sorted this place out and made it look a little nicer. Are you kidding me? I try to do something nice for the villagers, and of course it goes wrong. Normally, I'm never happy to see this guy, but this one is offering me gunpowder. I definitely like the sound of that, so you are going in there, good sir. Don't worry, you will be completely safe. Look at me building with gold blocks like it's nothing. Also, I want the lead, so I'm... I'm going to take out the llamas. Evil I know, but needs must. There's still quite a lot of work to do, but this is the progress so far. I'm sure you'll agree that it looks way, way better than before. They're not all fully grown yet, but I'm going to press this button anyway, and just to check that it all works properly. Well, that went well, didn't it? Pretty simple fix. I just need to add a repeater right about there. And now we can go for take two and see what happens. And look at that, beautiful, and it'll all flow into the hoppers. And we can grab all these and start planting again. And this means I can finally begin work on this last bit of the roof. And if you didn't know, to craft red nether brick, you need two nether wart, two nether bricks, and you put it like that. I've now finished all of this area. I'm going to release this fella back out. Come on, mate, you you come on out of here. I'm mean, killing him with my thorns here. Let's block that. Oh, he, he died. <laughs> And then the one on this side randomly despawned. So unfortunately that means I'm going to have to get two of those guys at some point. And at long last I'm tidying up this massive mess that's been here for ages. And finally I can cover over the top with a bunch of snow so nobody will ever know. Stick a little trap door there. And now it's all nicely covered up. I'm also going to build a soul speed tunnel from my house to the villager place. I've dug out the entire tunnel. Now I just need to put soul sand down. And there we have it. My high speed tunnel is now complete. I feel like this is one of those things that's really cool. But I'm just never going to use it. I'm just going to be flying with my elytra. But it's nice to have. No. <laughs> I was AFK doing something else and a creeper just walked up and blew. Oh, 
This is why I should have lit it up, shouldn't I? I've run out of black stone now, but I've chiseled it all out at least. I'll finish it at a later date. I can now finally finish off this roof, replant the nether wart, and I've decided I've had enough of building. I'm going off on an adventure somewhere. Here's something I want to test. If I grab myself a lead and then attach one of these dolphins, does it keep up with me? I think it does. This is the way to swim underwater. Next time I seriously go looking for tridents, this is how I'm doing it. This is the best way to find round. Something I quite like to find is a swamp biome because I've yet to get any slime balls. I found a monument, even though I have loads and loads of gold. I <laughs> might as well get more. And when you have depth strider and aqua affinity, it's super easy. I don't really have much use for pumpkins, but I found some, so I might as well pick them up. And the only real thing I'm bothered about in this village is all the hay bales. It's a shame I don't keep my netherite hoe in the ender chest. That would have been very useful. Oh, well, I'm rich. I might as well make another diamond one. And here's another village whose wheat I'm going to steel and finally i have found a swamp and i don't think it's actually that far from where i live it would be amazing if i could find a swamp hut and then it could make a farm out of it but i don't think there's one here it has to be said this is being an extremely successful night i'm getting lots of gunpowder lots of slime balls well with the sun now rising i am more than happy with that night's work and i think i am ready to head home at some point i probably will make a slime farm but three stacks of slime is pretty good we got the 43 gunpowder i will make a gunpowder farm as well at some point but I'm really happy with that. My armor is starting to get a bit broken. My tools a little bit broken. So I think it's time for a trip to the XP farm. I then spent a load more days sat at the XP farm getting to level 250. The goal is level 2000, guys. We've got a long way to go, but that's what I'm going for. And now I'm going to brave this blizzard and go on another journey. My farm also gave me another stack and a half of gold blocks. Life's pretty good at the moment. This looks like what I've been looking for. I can't say I've come to get the most exciting thing in the world. I've, <laughs> I've come to get some bees. And look at that. We've got a baby. Why, why am I enjoying this so much? I feel like at some point bees are going to be pretty useful so i'm gonna grab that look at that we even got a a total b location so as i was saying honey blocks are gonna be useful i've got loads of slime for slime blocks we can make some really cool creations with this but first i want to find a few extra bee nests aha now this is going to be very very useful i won't be building the farm out of this in this video but at some point in the future i'm going to be very pleased to use that this is a pretty nice find a mesa biome and we have a mine shaft here look at okay that was a bit dangerous but we, we managed to land it the best thing about mesa is you can get a lot of gold from here but <laughs> Do I look like I need gold? Whoa! I just had a creeper land on my head and I almost died if it wasn't for my totem. <laughs> I gotta be more careful. Thankfully, there's plenty more totems available. <laughs> Don't want that to happen too much. Should probably wear a chest plate if I'm not flying around. The only good thing about these mine shafts is the hope that I might find a notch apple. Other than that, I don't really have any use for them. Got a bit of gold here and a regular gold apple, which I guess is okay. Might as well steal some more hay bales whilst I've got them. Day 192 begins. Oh, I'm so sorry. These are pretty rare. It's an infected village. Look at this. They're just all infected. Okay, all right. Don't be like that. You stay inside. And as the sun sets, here we are. Home sweet home. I feel like it'd be quite nice for this village to have some bees buzzing around. Eventually, I'm going to make a proper honey farm, but for now, I think this will do. And now that I've got four and a half stacks of hay, I can make lots and lots of bread. And then give it to all the villagers. And that will lead to lots and lots of baby villagers. Would you look at this? I need these fellas, and they've <laughs> just turned up. Oh, no, they're going to die again. Quick, get out of there, Shabby. I'm going to call these guys the doctors, just not to intimidate anyone. I'm going to play a risky game and not wear armor so they at least don't get hurt. Right, that needs to go. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm going to die at this rate. Let me just break that. Okay, okay, okay. Put your armor on his feet, you idiot. Die. You must die. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, at least I got him in there. Man, I'm going through these totems like nobody's business today. Let's put this on him. There we go. One of the doctors. Just the sort of fellas I'm looking for. Come on up, guys. If I just bring him round here. Perfect. Now I've blocked it back up. He's back in there because these guys, they're slowly bringing their prices up. I mean, this one wants four. <laughs> you know what I think to that? Get down there. I'm glad I have three more totems. These can go in the ender chest. I think it's time I made a furnace room. I decide it's time to tighten up security in this village. So I'm going to spawn in some iron golems. I'm curious. Do, do these guys actually attack me if I hit them? Well, oh, you did a great job already. Let's see. I hit him. Oh, these guys don't care. It's only you guys that will attack me. <laughs> they all know that I am their master. All right, villagers, if you don't feel safe now, you never will. Now it's time I gathered up these furnaces. Although I do actually need to use a furnace to get the smooth stone. Whilst I wait for that to smelt, I can make a few smokers, craft a few extra furnaces, and now I can craft all my blast furnaces and begin building. So we're going to put these right here and the smokers on the opposite side. And finally, eight normal ones in this section. I feel like making the floor out of coal box could be quite a cool thing as well. Already, this place is being put to use. I'm not entirely sure how this next bit's going to work, but I just know I need a lot of lava. I'm going to see what happens if I just drop lava there. It's already covering a good amount. <laughs> Let's get to the nether. I'm quite
I simply all I have to do is just keep right clicking here and get loads of lava. And what do we think? I thought I'd go a bit all out with the design and, and go for a real lava one and I, I kind of like it. Now I've just got to do the same for the rest of the place. This is one of those designs that now that I've built it, I don't know if it's such a good idea or not. I think I've got to do a lava roof as well. And I also need lots more black stone bricks. That should be more than enough for now. I also fancy taking these chains and also the lanterns. Now I can put these walls in. Now I need to just tactically place lava all around here and everything. Okay, well that didn't work. I think my best bet is to just place the lava here and see if it covers all the blocks. For some reason, these two random spots just will not work. Let's put that. Okay, now we've got to be a little bit careful. <laughs> that on top of there. And please don't cover yourself in lava recipe. And there we have it. Job done. This is my furnace room. Yeah. Interesting design. Now to really bring it to life, I can hang some chains with lanterns on the bottom of them. And whilst I've got a bit of time left, I'm going to finish the black stone along here. Then I'm going to light the area up so we don't have any mishaps down here. Let's harvest all the nether wart. Look at that. Working like a charm. I actually think that this is a very handy thing that I've built now. I don't know where it came from, but this guy pulled out a sword. Let's sort these fellas out. You're not keeping that. Time to get some sleep and then I can begin day 200. So this is it. I've also realized we have so many villagers that all these beds were occupied. It has to be said once again that so much has happened in these 100 days. I spruced up this trading hall to give these guys the luxury they deserve. I built this massive soul speed tunnel, which I guess is kind of useful. I've now got a furnace room, which might get slightly changed. A nether wart room, an enchanting room. I named my dog Buddy because he's my buddy. I managed to get pig step. I got a lot of totems of undying from doing raids and visiting a woodland mansion and <laughs> I've used quite a lot of them. I also fully maxed out my armor, which was mainly thanks to this massive project here that gives me so much gold and so much XP. You may not know, I also changed it to now filter out rotten flesh because I don't really have much use for it. I would also like to say thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. And as the sun sets on this world, that is how I survived 200 days in Minecraft Hardcore. Also, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.